chaps, welcome along to the vlog. So that chap you saw behind me, as I was just coming to turn the camera and the radio off, should I say, to do the intro, he was the malt delivery man. And as you can see, we've got 40 sacks of extra pale malt, or a ton, a metric ton. And, uh, well yeah, uh, that's really given me a workout this morning, shifting that lot. So we've just had to handball half a ton each, effectively, off the back of the van, which is par for the course, because we're only a micro and we don't have a forklift truck. But after moving those casks and kegs this morning, who needs a gym subscription? <laughs> well, maybe I do. Anyway, this morning, the idea is to get all of the equipment and tanks and everything, first of all, emptied, and then on this side of the room, you know, where we've already painted, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip the floor back. I'm not grinding it because this isn't gonna have water and brewing processes on it. It just needs repainting so it matches this side. We're gonna get some self-leveling compound out. We're gonna fill in all the cracks and we're gonna paint maybe tomorrow once the compound's dried, but at least it'll give us time to get the whole area cleaned, swept and prepped ready for that paint to go down. Oh, what a start to the day. So, as you've seen me bring these kegs down to this area of the unit, where we've got the chiller, mini kegs, bottles, bit of grain. It's basically the grain store where the workshop is. Uh, this is where I have the CO2 cylinder chained to the wall, this big fella down here. And this is where we carbonate all of our keg beers. And because it's out the way, you can see we've got some chairs in for repair from the pub here. Because it's out of the way, it's fine to leave stuff here for a week or so. So you'll no doubt want to know how I carbonate the beers that we uh, put in keg for the pub. So because we just use these in-house and uh, we're not sending them out anywhere, what I generally do is leave them on connected to the CO2 for a week or so and depending on the ambient temperature in the unit is what I'll set the PSI to on the regulator so this time of year middle of November we generally average between 10 and 6 degrees centigrade on an average week and I want to put about two and a half volumes of CO2 into these beers so I'll set my uh, regulator kind of between 12 and 16 PSI. I think we're on about 15 at the moment. And then I've got them all kind of daisy chained, all these connectors. We've got the outlet plugged, so we can't have any CO2 coming out, any beer coming out of the keg. And these are all linked together with these John Guest push fittings. And all I do to connect them up to the CO2 is on the top of the keg, I purged, so I've purged any O2 out of the line, and then we'll hook it up to the keg like such, and then just connect. So that's how all of these have been put on, and we've just got the last one to do over here. See if I can do it one-handed again. It's also sometimes nice to find the best position to rotate the keg so there's no tension on the lines, because that can cause uh, leakage. So we're just purging, back to the top, hooked up, rotated and then connected. There we go, so these seven kegs will sit here now until approximately next Tuesday, Wednesday when they should have reached equilibrium with their head pressure and we'll take them off the gas and we'll pop them into the cold room and then while these kegs go on in the cellar all the regulators for the keg lines in the cellar are at a set pressure and the kegs then can come to equilibrium in there within the first one or two days of them being on but generally this system we're hitting the money it is a little bit flying by the seat of your pants but you know what they say if it ain't broke don't fix it would you look at the mess in here now, boys and girls? Oh my goodness. Come on, Chance. 
Well, it's going to be another short one today. I've managed to uh, kind of mix up some more self-leveling compound and we've splattered that down on the worst of the cracks just really to help the water sort of slough across the floor and drain. We've got a big one across here. We've pulled everything to one side as far as we need to and I've washed the floor and scrubbed it with a scrubbing brush. So hopefully this will be dry come tomorrow evening and we can get some paint down. Doesn't matter if not, we'll just wait another day if we have to. But uh, that's what I've been doing today. I've also upgraded the CCTV. I didn't film that though. And we've put an eight terabyte drive in there so we rec can record 31 days in high definition. And I've also put together a flyer for the mini kegs for the brew shed. So we're gonna knock them out at 20 pound a piece. And then on the back of it is an order form. I've just sent it off to the printers at Iron Tree Designs. Hopefully she'll be able to knock me up 50 or so of those. And we can get them printed and distributed in the pub for people to fill in for Christmas time. Right, that's it folks. I am going to wrap it up from here. I'm going to put the camera in the bag, the dog in the car, and take myself home, edit the vlog, maybe have a little bit of tea, and a glass of beer and then we'll do the whole shebang tomorrow once more we'll see you for it then cheers